Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. Man, today I have another special banger for you, all right? Now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. I'll definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily uploads, and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, my nephews and nieces, what we're going to be talking about is how you can make a two-way slasher build. This is by far one of the most fun builds you can make. There's so many different things about this build that makes it really truly toxic. Um, so, of course, let's just hop right into it. So, you do want to go shooting guard. Doesn't matter if you right or left-handed. Obviously, we're going to go with the mostly finishing and a little bit of shooting. Now, I know the first thing people are going to say is that, well, um, this doesn't make any sense. How is this going to be called a two-way and you don't even have any defense in this build? But guess what? This is like a catfish build, but at the same time, this is the best way to make a two-way slasher. Like, you could try to make it from this pie chart here, but you're just not going to get it. It just doesn't make any sense. You're not going to get the best bang for your buck. So that's the reason why I like to go with the mostly finishing and a little bit of shooting because by just way that you manipulate the um, the uh, arm span, you can become a two-way. So it just makes sense to do that. Now, here's another thing. The question is, do you go pure speed or do you go um, speed invert? Now, I've gone back and forth with this. Um, sometimes I feel like, you know, I get more contact dunks if I go speed invert. Then other times I feel like if I actually go just pure speed, I don't get as much contact. But we all know how important it is for pure speed to be able to momentum dribble and to be able to do those type of things, right? So in my humble opinion, I think that it makes perfect sense to just still go ahead and go with speed and vert. I just feel like for some reason I get more contact dunks with the vert. I know it's not supposed to feel that way, but again, there's not really no right or wrong answer, um, but I'm gonna go speed and vert, okay? Um, and then what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna max out the close shot, the driving layup, the driving dunk. We're gonna go 51 on the standing dunk. And then we're gonna max out our mid-range shot, our three-point shot, and our free throw, all right? But real quick, before we go any further, I just wanna point this out. Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, man. Like, if you're looking at it right here, man, 73.9% of y'all watch my videos, but you're not subscribed. Now, trust me, I love the viewership, but I also would love if you can just subscribe and become official nephew or niece. So if you haven't done so, just go ahead right now, man. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would greatly, greatly, greatly make my day. I really appreciate it. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. Pretty soon, I would be nice to be able to see only 26.1% is um, not subscribed and 73.9% is subscribed that are watching my videos. That would be pretty dope. But other than that, man, we'll go ahead and push on forward. Um, so now we want to go here on pass accuracy. You got to go to 77. Do not go 78. Just go 77 on your pass accuracy. Max out your ball handle and then go 58 on your post control for 15 playmaking. Then max out your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, your defensive rebound, and that, rem that remaining on your offensive rebound. So what you're looking at is 16, 16, 15, and 6. As you can tell, this is extremely well put together, bad stack. And of course, you know, this is going to be a build that's going to really be able to play at all three levels. Finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defense is going to be pretty toxic. Um, body type, excuse me, you do want to go build. Um, you want to go 6'3 on the height because we want to make sure we have that 81 ball handle. Then you want to lower your weight all the way down until you get to the 84 threshold. So you want to go to 176 on your weight. And then, of course, your wingspan, you do want to max that out, right? So now let's talk about a few things here. Um, you do get a plus eight to your physicals. You get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall. And you get the other plus four by doing either of these three things. All right, either A, going in my career. Now you do want to play every single game until you become a starter. But once you become a starter, you can sim out the rest of the regular season. You do need to play every single game until, um, you, need, you do need to play every single game in the playoffs um, and win a championship. And of course, after that, you will get the Jam Rat Badge. 
Um, option B, I feel like is the best option. That's the option where you go to the gay facility, um, talk to the guy at the entrance. He's going to give you a quest and say, hey, hit level 40 in whatever season you're currently in. Well, right now we're in season 7. So if you hit level 40 season 7, you will get that gym rat badge. Not only for this build, but for every build you have currently made. All you have to do is just make sure with each build you load into the park, you do the... Um, you go, go to the Gary facility and do the actual quest for each build. So you have to make sure you talk to the guy um, at the Gary facility with each build first. And then hit 40 and then after that just load into the park with each build again and then you will be able to get the gym rat badge, okay? Um, and then of course we know everybody can't hit level 40 in season so then the next op best option would be just going to the Gary facility every 7 days and doing your workouts. But regardless you're looking at a 92 speed, 92 acceleration, and 92 vert. I think that's just pretty solid all the way around. And, of course, on the finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, slash rebound, you do get a plus four here. So what you'll be looking at is a 94 close shot, 95 driving layup, 87 driving dunk. You also get an 81 mid-range, a really solid 79 three ball. And, of course, you can put the arm sleeve on and have an 83 ball. And then your playmaking, you have an 82 uh, I'm sorry, 81 pass accuracy and 85 ball handles. So yes, that means you will be able to get not only the elite dribble packages, but also the elite signature dribble packages, which would be pretty dope. And then of course on defense, you'll have the 82 perimeter defense, 79 lateral quickness, a ridiculous 87 steal. So now you can see how you're going to be called a two-way because you have an 82 perimeter defense and the 87 steal with this is crazy. And you still get a solid 69 defensive rebound. Um, and then here you have options of slashing, shot creator, playmaking, and, and lock take. To me, it'll be between lock and slashing, but I'm going to go ahead and still go with that slashing take. It's just too powerful to just not do. So we're going to go ahead and go with that slashing takeover. And then here you have my nephews and nieces. You have the two-way slasher, okay? So now what we're going to do is this. We're going to go ahead and test this build out real quick. We're going to get to 99, and of course, we'll then get you out of here. So the first thing we're going to do is max this out here, 99. Um, and then the big ones here, of course, is going to be Posterizer and Limitless Takeoff. Those are the two most powerful badges you want to have at all times with this build. Then I'd like to top it off with Acrobat and Fearless Finisher on Bronze. Then I get Slithery's Finisher on Silver. Remember, there's a lot of bang for your buck when it goes to different types of badges and what you should go with, okay? Then you want to get Giant Slayer on Bronze. Why? Because you're 6'3", okay? Trust me, you want to do that. Now you have three i mean three badges left over i like to get unstrippable on bronze and then get fast twitch which speeds up standing layups or dunks around the rim i just like to go ahead and get that maxed out to this um silver it just helps with getting the layups around like around the basket if you want to put them up but this is basically like the best way to do it in my opinion so that's why i'll rock it out and then on your shooting side you want to go of course you want to go sniper you want to go stop and pop Mismatch Expert is always a good combination here. Green Machine and Hot Zone Hunter on bronze, I mean on silver, and then get your blinders on gold. This right here would be the best bet. Trust me, you're gonna enjoy this a lot. We rock it out like that. And then on your playmaking, quick first step, um, handles for days and quick chain are the most halves. Get your silver um, pluckable, get your bell out on bronze, and then of course get your tight handles on gold. This is what I like to rock with, but if you're somebody that doesn't care about the animations, don't worry about tight handle animations. Probably go hyperdrive if you're running threes, and then you can get away with your bullet passer on silver. I mean, there's really mains, there's, there's a lot of ways to go about it, so it's really your preference. Um, here, what I would do is my two would be um, uh, rebound chaser, rim protector chase down artist and then i would go um pick dodger if i'm gonna play on ball if i'm not playing on ball and i'm just gonna be somebody that's just gonna be playing this like anywhere i'm gonna go ahead and get my clamps on go okay but anyway there you have it my nephews and nieces this is the two-way slasher build hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did just make sure you drop a like you subscribe to the channel and as usual your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon on the banger man you know when i say I'll be back soon on the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out